throw, but has to wait for three seconds for the points to be deposited, which is quite time eating. And then the last one, you can actually earn more points if you collect the points in the plus area, which is the blue one. The points are two times more in value. And let's talk about my strategies. For the first one is I programmed the robot to have a different movement for every point. For example, like the main order is to well is to detect when there's an obstacle in the front and then turn right. But in actually in point two point two, I've programmed it to move left rather than right. And I also add some specific movement for each trap and also add some specific speed for all the places that have the high value of points which is like the bottom ones so here's a little clip about my my a little bit of my gameplay yeah as you can see let me stop it for a minute see in this part the robot will move slower than this part because in this blue part that the points are quite high. As you can see, it's slower. Well, probably that's all. So let's talk about my tools in this tools and resources in this competition. So first, I've used the Microsoft Robotics Step Studio Four with the AirCap R RayCap Co Space Rescue Twenty Twenty platform quite a complicated name and I also use like a virtual robot with, that has an artificial intelligence so let's talk about the advantages so the first advantage is that the app doesn't need a real arena it doesn't we don't actually need to actually we don't need to actually purchase the robot and we can use it anytime anywhere so let's talk about my debugs so the robot mostly perform as what I planned and coded. However, sometimes the robot doesn't follow the orders. See, I knew the robot is possessed. I suspected the possible cause was there might be some problems with the orders. And I check it again and again. Well, it turns out there is an issue about the programming system. But remember, it's probably possessed. So we have to chat about my improvements from like uh, programming the robot to have like a different movement in every point Let's see you can see like the blue chart is quite low but the after one wow it's quite promising quite an improvement so my conclusion is if you if if you like program a robot you when it still doesn't work, you need to actually improve all the movement and state every other that could improve the program. Just do it, it helps. And what I've experienced through all of these weeks is I've learned all about the things that I need to program a robot. I also gain some abilities to actually program a robot and competing in an international event. And I also have a chance to learn from other participants after viewing their shared videos on the Recap Academy YouTube channel. Yeah. So I want to actually share to other participants if I want. I really want to about my strategies on how to improve the programming system and how to create an efficient order and also my experience on how to be a better player. So thanks for everything. Thanks for your attention. I want to say thank you to my mentor, my parents for helping me throughout this challenge. And well, by the way, bye bye. See you in the finals.